This is the pronation supination exercise to help increase range of motion in the wrist and forearm, and as well as a little bit of strength as we add resistance to it. We can do this with multiple pieces of equipment. With a little bit of a lighter weight, we can use the Therabar. And again, with the Therabar, we have multiple resistances as well, um, yellow, red, and blue. And so we'll give the patient this first, sitting again nice and straight, good posture, elbow relaxed, shoulder relaxed. And starting in the middle of the bar kind of makes it the easiest to start. And he's gonna go into a supinated position, letting the elbow and shoulder relax, but turn the palm up towards the ceiling as far as you possibly can get and then come all the way down into a pronated position as far as you possibly get as well. As he gets a little bit better at it, um, we can move the bar a little bit higher up his hand. So, yeah, that way the weighted bar, part of the bar is here, so it has to kind of use that for resistance to go both ways. Control is definitely a key for this exercise, and he can go back and forth into that rotation, one set of 10, two sets of 10. You may want to also do it for time, uh, twice for a minute if possible. To make it a little bit more difficult still, you can use the hammer instead. Using that same concept as if you put your hand through the middle of it, it makes it a little bit easier. Same idea though, elbow and shoulders relaxed, no turning the body at all, but just a pure stupidation towards the palm to the sky, pronation palm to the floor, slow controlled motion there, and then moving it a little bit lower down um, on the hammer to make it just a little bit harder still. That way the heaviest part is at the end, so you're using that strength of your uh, elbow and wrist. So that's your wrist supination and pronation using a therabar or a hammer.